name is Dr Pamela Parker from City University London and I'm the project manager and have been for the last four years for um, a curriculum design project supported by JISC and our project has been called PREDICT. Uh, Professor Susanna Quincy, the director of this centre, has also been the project director for the first three years until she uh, went on maternity leave. The project has changed much over the four years, um, partly in response to university changes, but also in response to some of the things that we hoped to do throughout the project. One of the key things for us, I think, has been that the term curriculum has now become a widespread term used throughout the university, used by academics, but also technologists and within the uh, information services department. Some of the other things we've managed to do are change perhaps the way we support staff for curriculum design. So at the same time as running this project, we also changed our virtual learning environment. And so some of that went together. Um, we used our school liaison roles to try and help support staff within schools doing their curriculum design and that's enabled us to be more integrated into the schools we work with. We've also funded some learning development projects over the few years so that people can look at small projects for their modules and redesign. And we've implemented um, a learning development associate scheme which has had um, one particular member of staff devoted one day a week for a year to curriculum design. That was initially around their own school and over the last year has been uh, an institution-wide post and we'll be doing that again next year. We've also managed to um, develop some tools for staff to use, so we've got some guidance on writing learning outcomes, guidance on writing program and module specs. We now have a definition about curriculum and we've also got um, a curriculum set of principles that will be able to be used next year to guide um, staff. So overall we feel the project has been a success, people do know about the term, people are starting to think about curriculum design in a different way and we've had staff through the curriculum design module that we've been using on our MA academic practice over the last four years, now numbering nearly 100 staff, which has been a really good result and has meant that people are taking an interest in looking at that. As we move forward, although the project's finishing, much of our work is embedded and some of the areas we're moving forward on over the next year are to do with student engagement within curriculum design and how they can participate much better and work with staff. And in order to help that, we're funding some student-led projects for the next academic year.